Hello, this is Paul Mulligan for Innovate TV at ProLight and Sound 2018 in Frankfurt, Germany. Thanks for joining us. I'm joined today by Ralph Zulig from DMB. Welcome, Ralph. You Thank were very you. kind to speak to me for the recent article on um, 3D audio, immersive audio, spatial audio, call it what you want, um, because you guys are at the sort of forefront of all this, really, with, with Soundscape, which has just been released at IC, and you're the huge demo here that we've just enjoyed. Um, can you tell us a bit about it and how it works and how the sort of whole concept of it um, came about? Okay, you know, the first thing, you know, why are we doing Soundscape? I mean, you know, this is what we did in the presentation as well, but to, to, just, to just make it completely clear, you know, it's about time to think sound reinforcement differently. This is my personal, complete, you know, opinion. We have to make things differently. And what we're doing is essentially we're going, you know, from a channel-based system to an object-based mixing system, which means we give, we give the audience the full package of information, not just tonality and level, but also the position, which means everybody in the audience now is getting the right perspective of what he's seeing on stage, also acoustically. And I believe um, this is exactly the way forward because we live in the 21st century and we have to make things differently. And I mean, you know, this is also the enhanced, you know, possibilities of creativity, which is coming with a system like that. It's, I think it's time that we have to do that. Uh, the technology behind that is that we're using uh, a special algorithm, which is calculating red rendering the position and the tonality and everything onto our loudspeaker setup, onto our loudspeaker array. It not, must not be, you know, just in line, it can be a little bit distorted as well. But in principle, we just open up a second dimension in our mixing phase and we mix things over the renderer that we're using differently with time and level. And where do you see this um, type of... Cause it's, what you're doing, it feels really new. I mean, where do you see this ending up? Where, where do you hope this will be used? If you ask me personally, yeah. I'm on a crusade. My plan is to have it everywhere. Sure. It, it, it is like, you know, whenever we go into bigger spaces such as, you know, clubs, concert halls, whatever, we always, you know, lacking, you know, the proper package of information because all the channel-based systems, they are so lately, you know, designed to work on a sweet spot. But the sweet spot that we need is as big as the audience area. So we have to look for a different technology. And I believe, you know, once we have, we have brought this idea through, you know, the different minds, I think this become a standard yeah, yeah. for sound reinforcement. This is my personal aim. So sure. for me, there's no limitation. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not segmentally limited. I see it in conferences. I see it in theaters. I see it in musicals. I see it in rock shows. And I see it, you know, in big outdoor events as well. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for your time. No worries. Thank you very much, Paul.